You would have seen a reporting of Mike Burgess's speech, uh, the update, a national um, uh, update on espionage. We heard from him, uh, risk of terror, etc. This is the ASIO boss. Interestingly today, Sarah Henderson, she's now the new Shadow Minister for Education, speaking at a universities conference, she's called on the Foreign Minister Penny Wong to use the powers under the Foreign Relations Act to ban these Confucius Institutes in our universities. There's 12 of them around the country. They're funded by the Chinese government. They teach Chinese languages and Chinese culture. There is grave concern, you know that from your time as PM, about what their real purpose on campus is, um, do you support this move? I, I think uh, that all of us have had a huge wake-up call on uh, the Beijing government over the last five or six years. Uh, these institutes were set up back in the day when we were all reasonably optimistic about China and the West being on a converging path, uh, China's economic liberalisation ultimately leading to a measure of political liberalisation. Uh, plainly, uh, uh, the doors have been slammed shut. Uh, plainly, uh, it's back to uh, Stalinism inside China uh, under the Communist Party. Uh, I think it's very important that we appreciate that everything China does is done with strategic intent. Everything the Chinese government does is done with strategic intent. And these Confucius centres are essentially... Uh, um, propaganda centres, um, and yes, uh, mm. I think it is time to close them down, just as I think it's time for us to do everything we reasonably can uh, to cut China out of critical supply chains and do everything we reasonably can uh, to upgrade our military. And I wish we were upgrading our military with the same urgency that we're decarbonising our power supply, uh, because I've got to say uh, um, <laughs> the threat of war... Uh, is vastly more scary to me uh, than uh, uh, what might happen to temperature a few decades hence. Boss, the old uh, activists will come after you with that comment. I have to leave it there, Tony Abbott. Thank you for your time.